The camera remote app is one of the reasons I finally bought an Apple Watch. And it can do a lot more than the documentation says. Let me show you. Apple's own support document sells the Apple Watch camera remote app short. It says you have to press and hold the shutter button to record video, which actually is not necessary at all and doesn't say anything about how to use the different video and photo modes. The bottom line is that all of the paired iPhone recording modes, from time-lapse to portrait, with the exception of panorama, work with the app. Who knew? What you have to do is set the recording mode and any parameters like resolution and frame rate first on your iPhone, then use your watch to start and stop video recording. The most common use is headshots for self-recording vlogs. Set your iPhone to cinematic mode to get the nice bokeh effect. Use your watch to center yourself in the frame and tap the red button to start and stop recording. Our second example is taking a group selfie without using the 10 second delay, because sometimes you just need more than 10 seconds to get in the picture. You'll need a tripod and camera clamp for this, or you can prop your phone on a rock. Set the camera to portrait mode, get your shot framed, then take your time getting in the picture and snap your selfie. You can review it to see how it came out, and I recommend you use live photo to make sure someone doesn't have their eyes closed. Our next example is a boom shot, where you can't see the screen because the camera is several feet away from you and likely facing away from you. Let's set up for a slow motion clip and get a walking foot shot. Since our face and arms aren't in the frame, we can use the watch to make sure we stay in the frame. In this case, because we're holding the boom in our hand, it's not practical to use the watch app to start and stop filming. We'll use it only to check framing. Next, let's use the camera remote to get a video of some wildlife, where the critters would be spooked if we were standing there holding our iPhone. We've got the camera on a small tripod near some birds and we can start and stop recording our wildlife video with the watch when the wildlife is in the right spot for us. Our last example is a time lapse of the stars where you can't see the screen and you don't want any wobble from pressing the shutter button. Select time lapse, aim your camera into the sky, turn off the three second delay and start it up using your watch. When you've recorded long enough, use your watch again to end the time lapse. That's it. Hope this little video gave you some ideas about how you can use the Apple Watch Remote Camera app to get more out of your iPhone. If it did, please click like and subscribe down below. Thanks a lot for watching.